The Epic Guide to Dragon Masters is a special edition of the New York Times bestselling Dragon Masters series by Tracy West. If a child in your life loves dragons, this could be a good addition to their library. Hi, I'm Dan Skinner, and welcome to the Kids Bookshelf. Ahead, we'll explore the book and talk with the author, Tracy West. She's the author of the New York Times bestselling Dragon Masters Early Reader Chapter Book series, and she's written more than 400 books for children, including the Underdog series, the Pixie Tricks series, and a series of Pokemon chapter books. And she joins us to talk about the Epic Guide to Dragon Masters. Tracy. Welcome to the Kids Bookshelf. Thank you, Dan. I'm really happy to be here. Very excited. Well, this is the 10th anniversary of this Dragon Masters series. So before we talk about this special edition book, tell us about the series. Wonderful. So Dragon Masters is a chapter book series for early readers. And um, it's part of the Scholastic Branches series, which helps kids transition from reading books with lots of uh, pictures and a little bit of text. Um, in the past, they would have to transition into chapter books with lots of text and no pictures. That could be very discouraging for a lot of readers. So chap uh, Dragon Masters is a chapter book series that is a bridge between those two kinds of books and where many kids feel comfortable. And so this is a fantasy series for kids who are maybe about six to eight years old. And it is about kids who are eight years old who get chosen a by a magical stone called the dragon stone to connect with the dragon. And when you connect with a dragon, you get to work with your dragon and learn about your dragon's powers. And then the dragon masters team up and they go on adventures and uh, battle bad guys and they solve puzzles and do all the kinds of things you would expect in a traditional fantasy story. And that series has been out for 10 years. There are 26 books out right now, uh, plus this new guidebook. When you first started this series, did you, did you imagine it was going to be such a big thing? I think as an author, you never know if something is going to hit or not, correct? So, um, uh, and I've been writing books for more than 30 years uh, and had not really had that happen. So um, this was just a wonderful... I'll, I'll call it a surprise when the when the f the first four books were out and I was getting word back that they were selling really well in in bookstores, which is a a rare and wonderful thing these days. So um, no, I was not expecting it, and I was so happy <laughs> when that happened. So tell us about this special edition book. So the special edition book, which you have a copy there, and I have my copy here, it's 256 pages of with full color art, and it is basically a guidebook to all of the characters and places uh, in the series. So um, I mentioned that there are 26 Dragon Masters books. In each book, readers meet a brand new dragon and a brand new Dragon Master. So we have many, many characters in the series. The dragons have all kinds of powers that change from book to book. Um, and so uh, I had been keeping sort of a, a list of all of these um, characters and where they're from and what the dragon's powers were and how they use their powers. And um, in as part of my writing career, I've worked a lot in licensed publishing. And so I did create many guides for video games and cartoon series. And I know that kids enjoy guidebooks that help them learn more about their favorite characters. And so I proposed, hey, this would make a great guidebook. Um, I have all this information already. And um, thanks to Matt Loveridge, who does uh, did the amazing color artwork. Um, it, it took a whole team of people to put this together. It was a huge effort, but um, we're really proud of the result. So for readers of the series, this is going to be familiar territory. But for those who aren't, can this book serve as sort of an introduction to the series? Absolutely. I have already um, talked with readers and their parents who are using it as an introduction. So it's a way to familiarize yourself with the characters and especially for um, young readers often they really want to know more about 
uh, what they're going to be getting before they commit to reading a book. And so this, this guidebook can help them make a decision to start reading the series. What do you think kids like dragons so much? Well, I, I, I had this conversation the other day with someone and I, and I gave a big long answer, but I think maybe the simple answer is they're big and they're cool and they have amazing powers. But, um, you know, my sort of longer answer is, is that, uh, kids can, um, it gives kids it inspires their imagination. They might see qualities in the dragons, or in my case, this series, the dragon masters that inspires them, uh, where they think, well, maybe I can be that brave, or maybe I can have an adventure someday. Um, so I think it also empowers them in, in many ways. I'm talking with Tracy West about the Epic Guide to Dragon Masters, and our conversation continues. If you're enjoying this discussion, please subscribe, like, and click on the bell so you know when I post new interviews. And thank you. So there are qualities of a Dragon Master that you explore in the book. In fact, I hope it's not a spoiler, but at the, the end of the book, you talk about three qualities in particular, sort of the key takeaways from the book. Can you tell us about those? Sure. Well, those, uh, at the end of the book, there's a little um, final word from Griffith, uh, a character who is a wizard who teaches the Dragon Masters. And so it gave me the opportunity to think about um, what would be the, key, the three key qualities that I would want kids to take away of what it means to be a good Dragon Master. And so those qualities are kindness, curiosity, and the ability to work on a team. And of course, you can have other qualities too. You can be silly, you can be impatient, you can be all kinds of things, but those three seem to be at the core of uh, how my characters uh, interact with each other and approach their challenges. And what I enjoyed about reading the book, and I, I appreciate the humor in the book, which maybe I don't know if the kids would always get, but it just like, for example, there's a section in the book about introducing yourself to people and uh, letting them know that, hi, my name's such and such, and my dragon and I are not going to hurt you. <laughs> it's, it's going to be fine. But I was thinking there's sort of these skills that you introduce that are good for a dragon master, but they're just good life skills for the kids to learn as well. Absolutely. And I don't necessarily sit down when I outline a book and say, okay, what life skills will I put in this book. However, you know, I am writing about eight-year-olds who take on these big <laughs> challenges. And um, in the end, ultimately, I want them to succeed. So in order to do that, they do have to model some behaviors that I think are helpful in real life, such as overcoming your fears, um, learning how to uh, compromise when your team is coming up with an idea. All of those things are what we all need to succeed in life. And so it just uh, sort of happens organically. I'm curious about the challenge for you as an author, because you've been writing about dragons for 10 years now. So I'm assuming you must like dragons. <laughs> <laughs> I have always been fascinated with all kinds of magical creatures. I've written series about fairies and gremlins and goblins and shape shifters. And um, so it was fun for me 10 years ago to sort of delve into the world of dragons. And, uh, and at each time I sit down to come up with the idea for a book, I always start with the dragon first. And it's usually um, a dragon that I think uh, might have cool powers. My imagination might create the dragon or a, a dragon might be inspired by a dragon from myths and legends such as, well, here's this guy here. Here's Worm. He's an earth dragon. <laughs> he was inspired by the European legends of a worm, a creature that lived underground and was mysterious. So um, I'll start with the dragon and then ask myself a lot of what if questions. Uh, so for example, with a time dragon, I might ask, well, what if the characters go back in time? Or what if the time dragon can slow down time? And what would happen next? And if I get a what would happen next that really intrigues me or grabs me or I think would be exciting, I, I know my readers will probably think it's exciting too. And I take it from there. And so starting with a dragon each time allows me to come up with a, a fresh new 
story every every time. So 10 years now, do you have more Dragon books, Dragon Master books in the works? Um, absolutely. There are definitely going to be 30 books in the series, and I've already, I'm already working on ideas for more, so we'll see if, if those happen. I, I can't say there will for sure be 10 more years, but um, I'm pretty confident I could do 10 more years if I needed to. <laughs> You know, I'm thinking, you know, this 10 year span, have you talked with uh, kids that sort of grew up with these books and, and what kind of feedback have you gotten from them? Oh, you know, it's wonderful. I have talked to kids who are in their early teens now and who still um, go back and read the new books when they come out, because even though they're, they've graduated way above that reading level, they're really curious and they want to know what happens next. And that's just that's fantastic to hear. And I know we touched on this already, but again, what do you see as sort of the overarching theme of these books? And what do you hope that kids take away from it? Primarily, I want to inspire kids' creativity and imaginations. I think that's what fantasy does best. And then as we discussed before, if you can learn some tips on being more confident, or if you can learn some tips about um, some better ways to interact with people, that's, a, that's definitely an added bonus. This special edition book is the Epic Guide to Dragon Masters by Tracy West. Tracy, thank you for talking with me today. Oh, you're welcome. This was delightful. I really enjoyed meeting you. Thanks so much. If you'd like to purchase the Epic Guide to Dragon Masters, I've placed a link for you in the description below. And if you enjoy this conversation, please subscribe, like, and click on the bell so you know when I post new interviews. Well, thank you for watching this edition of the Kids Bookshelf. Here are two more interviews you might find interesting. I'm Dan Skinner. Until next time, keep sharing the gift of reading.